Welcome to the first of a new video commentary show, Days with a T. My name is George Reiser, and I hope to comment on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Those would be Days with a T. If my schedule will permit it, three times a week is plenty. I'll be commenting on life and our American culture. Today's Tuesday, November 11th, 2008. Has the nation lost its mind? Have you shopped at a mall lately? Have you tried to get a loan lately or finance a home to get a roof over your head? Have you been to an elementary school, been to a college campus, or been to a grocery store? Have you been to a government office or to a place of business? There are some crazy people out there. Have you followed the election? Have you paid attention to the aftermath of the election? Did you see the news that gun sales have skyrocketed since the election of President-elect Obama? Gun enthusiasts are buying guns at a record pace to make sure that they're well armed in case the new president uh, supports stronger gun laws. Did you see the charming story where the 77-year-old Pittsburgh woman shot an intruder in the groin last week? He was drunk and he walked into the house next door to his own by mistake. Or did you see the news story about the Halloween evening incident in Sumter, South Carolina, where a man shot and killed a 12-year-old trick-or-treater through the door as he was trick-or-treating? Put 29 shots from an automatic weapon into the chest of the trick-or-treater. Or maybe you've heard about the man in Arizona who kept a loaded 22 caliber rifle in his home with which his eight-year-old son killed him day before yesterday and then in premeditated fashion killed his friend. Have you paid any attention to the voting in Florida, Alabama, or Arizona, or California? the constitutional marriage amendments, the systematic curtailing of the civil rights of nearly 10% of the population through the tyranny of the majority. Have you considered the proposition passed in Arkansas, even though the so-called religious right has fits with abortion, they passed a resolution denying the opportunity for single parents to adopt. Apparently, if you're an unborn child, it would be better to die than to be adopted by a single parent, which in this thinly veiled proposition is code for a gay parent. So death would be preferable to living, being adopted by a gay parent. We live in a culture and a society that, well, our culture is, has its priorities so far out of whack it wouldn't be recognized by the founders of the U.S. and the rest of the world alternates between amused and aghast. We may be going to hell in a handbasket, but at least we're well armed. I'm George Reiser. This is Days with a T for Tuesday, November 11th, 2008. I'll see you next time. Have yourself a great day.